Hello guys, good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Rinske Dauna and today I'm going to show you how to blend your acrylics and give some tips and tricks. So let's go. Alright, so I will show you today three techniques how to blend your acrylic paints. And I will start with the most common one. Just taking two colors and bring them up to each other. And I'm using opaque and half opaque colors because if they are transparent, you will always see the cotton through the canvas and it yeah, can be very frustrating, especially if you're using water in there as well. So let me start with the first one. I will use a magenta and a light pink. So I have a, my brush here. Don't put too much on your uh, brush. You can always take more. So let me... So this is a half opaque color. You can see it as well on the canvas. That's okay. a little bit more here. All right. And my brushes are a little bit wet because I just used them and rinsed them out. So let me take the other color. Bring it here. And this is an opaque color, you can see it. It flows so well on the canvas. Okay, so now I can bring this color up to that color to blend it. Bring it a bit down, bring it a bit up. And I'm just gently stroking. Okay, that looks pretty. So let's say I want here the magenta as well. So let me do the same thing. Just... And now bring this color up. And I'm taking a little bit of the light pink here. Bring it up. And bring it down. And this is perfect because the light pink is an opaque color. So that makes the blending very easy with the magenta. Because the magenta will start becoming more opaque as well. Okay, so now let's take it all up. Yeah, it looks like a perfect blend already. So let's say you want this part a little bit lighter. You can, of course. I will wet my brush just a little bit. Take, I, I'm not even cleaning it. Take some white. And Gently. So I think the trick is that your brush must be a little bit wet using opaque colors or half opaque and not using too much paint on there because then it's going to be so hard to blend. Well, this is perfect. All right, well, let me wash out my brushes so they are wet again. 
and start with the second technique of blending your acrylic paints. So let me continue with the second one and I'm gonna brush here a color and here and then already mix the color on my palette and then brush it in the middle and take it up like the first one. Okay, so my brushes are a little bit damp because I just made this one and I need to be careful because of course this is still wet, but you know, we can brush that in and blend it. Okay, so let me start with some turquoise here. You see it's a little bit transparent on the canvas because the brush is yeah, fairly wet. But that's okay, just push it in and then let it dry for just a minute and go over it again with the same color. Okay, so let me take my other brush and use this beautiful light blue. And I'm doing this horizontal right now, of course, but you can do it any way you like. Okay. Yeah, this color is definitely opaque. So that's a little bit transparent. So what I will do now is take a little bit more color and go over it again. Just then gently. And we can continue this till yeah, the color is fully on the canvas. I'm really taking my time here. Okay, so I will just use this brush and now make the color with these two together already. Hmm, I must say I'm not really liking that color. So maybe I can use a touch of white. All right, so that's better. So, and then brush it in here. A little bit of that color. And take it up and up. Okay, in this color, let me take it in this. So this color is already starting to dry. So what I will do then is I will wet my brush just a little bit. And so then I will take the color under there again because it's not fully dry and there you go you can continue this for a long time it looks beautiful maybe also some white in there so let me continue with the 
third technique and that is that you already put the paints on your brush. So both of the colors on the brush and then blend it. All right, so let me use this big brush and I will dip it into the yellow here. And then in this magenta. All right, looks like this. What I can do now is just put this And then and then you can bring it more up and more down. However you like. Yeah, this is a very easy way to to blend it. So now how more up I go, the more the colors blend together. So what I can do now is of course add there a little bit more yellow, but let me take my clean brush. Well, I hope this is clean. So what I can do now is take more yellow, of course, and then oh, it's not really clean. You see, it's a bit green. But that's no problem. And just take it again to the colors. Okay, so I would like my yellow to be a little bit more white. So I'm mixing that already here. And then putting it and taking it down as far as I want to. And then I can take this color, of course. Let me. And take it back up. Just try to gently go over the colors. Adding more color as you go. Um, shall I add a more, more color? Let me add a little bit of this color in there. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I feel the colors are starting to dry already a bit. So what you can do is just wet the brush a little. And then go over it. So I have this transparent purple color. And let's say I want it here on the canvas. The paint is starting to dry already, but since this is transparent, you can use it with a little bit of water on your brush and go over it and give it that violet shine over there. So let's go for that. 
wetting my brush a little bit, taking some of the purple and then pushing this in. Okay, and now I want to blend that in. And it's kind of hard because the colors are starting to dry. So I don't have room here now to blend it. So I really need to wet my brush to get the colors to come up a bit more. Okay, yeah, these are my ways to blend my colors and I can show you some clips, of course, how I incorporated this in my real video so let me take this off so guys thanks for watching i really hope you learned something here i'm not using a lot just some water brushes paint and of course my canvas it's very important to wet your brushes sometimes and know when to because otherwise yeah, the paint will become transparent or too wet and you can't put it in the canvas really. And of course, using opaque or semi-opaque colors. And yeah, I like the first technique the best. It's the easiest for me. I, I use that a lot in my videos too. But what I do uh, mostly is I place two colors on the canvas and then brush in the middle white because yeah I love when it's going softly too dark so that's something you can do as well of course well guys thank you for watching I hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and I'll see you next time <music>